Hey guys, I have the Nissan Versa model year 2021 and in this video I want to explain to you how to replace the bulb for the rear side marker. So we start out by gaining access to the bulb and we do this by opening the trunk and now the only tool that we do need is a bigger Phillips screwdriver and with that we are going to remove these two screws here that you see here. Alternatively to the screwdriver you can also use a socket uh, but I'm not sure right now what size that is since it's so much easier with the Phillips screwdriver. Once we have removed both screws then we can detach now here the plastic housing that holds all of the bulbs. And you do this by wiggling it a little bit on the back end and then here towards the front of the vehicle there are two plastic pins that are holding the housing in position and you want to make sure you don't accidentally break off those two plastic pins. So next I am going to remove the housing completely from the vehicle by detaching the harness at this point here. But you don't really have to do this so I'm just doing this because it is easier for me to record this video here. In case you are interested in how to do this then all I did was press on this little pin here, this plastic pin. I just pushed this in and then I was able to unplug the harness. So now we see here three color coded sockets and we are interested in the gray one that's the one that contains the bulb with the side marker and we're going to remove the socket by simply rotating it counterclockwise by about eight and eighths of a turn so now the bulb itself you're going to just pull out of the socket here and the replacement bulb that we're looking for is of type w5w so that's the one that we want to replace this with and we do this by of course simply pushing the new bulb here into the socket and as soon as we've done that we can reinsert the socket into the housing and once you were able to slide it in then you are going to rotate the socket by about an eighth of a turn clockwise and that ensures that the socket won't fall out again and also that there's no water intrusion into the housing. And then the next step is to already reattach the housing to the vehicle. So of course in my case first I have to uh, plug the harness back in so I'm going to make sure that this really snaps into position. And then you have to look out for those two plastic pins here on the housing. Those go here in two special holes here in the uh, body of the vehicle. So I suggest you put those pins in there first and then you slowly and carefully slide the housing towards the right, so towards the trunk of the vehicle. Uh, I'm doing this here with one hand, that's why it looks a little bit clumsy, but if you use two hands, then uh, it is really easy to do. So, and once the housing here is in the correct position again, then we can, of course, uh, put those two screws back in and uh, make them tight with the screwdriver, but don't make them too tight, you don't want to break the plastic here. And then we're already done. Yeah, okay, I hope this video was helpful. If you have any more questions or comments, then please leave a message below.